keep your dog's paws protected. Hi guys, it's Victoria from TTPM Pets and today we're reviewing boots for your dog. If you're in search of dog boots for the first time, you may not know where to begin. Wearing boots can take some getting used to for dogs. So here at TTPM, we tested out three different brands to introduce dog boots to our first time boot wearers. So how did it go? We're about to show you. But first, make sure to subscribe to our channel where we're reviewing all the things that you need to keep your pet healthy and happy. In our experience, Frisco's anti-slip wrap dog boots were easy to put on but harder to keep on. Their wrap style design with the hook and loop fastener allows the boot to open up completely, which means no difficulty fitting it over your dog's paw. Then to close it, you pull the Velcro strap around until the boot is sufficiently tightened. One downside to this I discovered while securing the boot on my dog is that he figured out how to grab onto the strap with his teeth to loosen and pull the boot off. We recommend fastening these as tight as you possibly can. When we didn't make them super snug, they tended to come off pretty quickly. We were also looking forward to using them in the cold weather as the tough rubber sole is designed to protect paws from ice, snow, salt, and more. However, we found that they wouldn't stay on in the snow. They aren't waterproof either, so using them in the snow will get them wet. The boots are available in sizes 1 to 6 with a size chart available to help you match your dog's paw measurements to the right size. These were not an instant success for us. At first, one of the dogs didn't even want to walk while wearing them, but she eventually got the hang of it after some nudging. We think you'll have the best outcome with these if your dog has already been trained to walk in boots, or if you have the time and patience to train them. The Paws Waterproof Dog Boots may require some stretching and pulling to get over your dog's paws. In one case, it even required two people to get the boots on the dog because she wouldn't stay still. But once they were on, they stayed on. Of all the boots we tried, our dog seemed to tolerate these ones the most while walking. We think it's because they're thinner and less bulky. They're made from biodegradable natural rubber and they look and feel almost like balloons. They're also waterproof, so ideal for braving the elements. When our dogs wore these, it was like they didn't even notice they had boots on. Paw says they're designed to be natural feeling, like a sock, moving with your dog to allow full paw motion and keep them comfortable. You can find them in sizes that range from tiny to extra large and a variety of colors. When we used these, they were super sturdy, but they don't come with any padding. So if you want something with more protection on the bottom or insulation, then you'll probably have a better shot with a different boot. Still, we think these would make great and super affordable starter boots before you graduate to something with a thicker material. Once your dog adjusts to these Kwumi dog boots, they strike a good balance between comfort and durability. Your dog may not be walking with ease immediately, but Kumi helpfully provides instructions detailing how to train them with the boots over the course of about a week. When one of the dogs eventually got the hang of them, she loved digging and running around in them. We thought they were really well made and heavy duty. The anti-slip sole provided protection and traction, while the tight fit helped keep them on. Plus, they're waterproof, making them useful in all sorts of weather. They're also easy to put on, with a wide split seam opening and two straps to adjust the tightness. You will have to make these quite snug to secure them in place, and we did worry slightly about tightening them to the point where we would cut off circulation in the paws. But our dogs didn't seem to indicate any discomfort. For extra safety, the straps are reflective to make your dog visible at night. They come in four color patterns and sizes two to eight. You'll know the right size for your dog based on their paw measurements. Just one warning, I tried these with my older dog who didn't lift his paws up enough while wearing them, so he did trip a couple of times while getting acclimated. If your dog is the same, just make sure to proceed with caution. So let's recap. Frisco's boots are super easy to put on, but a little harder to get used to, while the paws boots are almost like the complete opposite. If you can get them around your dog's feet, they'll be walking in no time. In our opinion, Kwumi's boots are a happy medium between the two. Does your dog like wearing boots, or are they a boot beginner like ours? Let us know in the comments below. Either way, we hope we helped you find the right pair of boots today. Thanks so much for watching, and before you go, be sure to hit that subscribe button for all our dog and cat accessory reviews.